What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another AMC video. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. I'm here to provide an extensive update. New data suggests that a large global bank with systemic importance may fail. Before I continue, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel by clicking here. How about we talk about Credit Suisse? Yes, let's. Credit Suisse's planned $2.4 billion fundraising to help pay for a major overhaul was met with increasing market headwinds on Wednesday, as the cost of insuring exposure to its debt reached a record high and the bank shares and bonds fell. The rights issue is part of the Swiss bank's larger capital raise of 4 billion Swiss francs, which was approved by shareholders last week to help support Credit Suisse's recovery from its worst crisis in 166 years. After beginning higher, Credit Suisse shares fell 2% to a new all-time low, marking their ninth consecutive losing session. Since the beginning of the year, the stock has lost over 66%. Credit Suisse bonds also declined, with other Tier 1 bonds falling by more than 4 cents and several falling below the level recorded in early October during a sell-off in bank stocks and bonds. The second-largest bank in Switzerland warned last week that it was on track for a fourth-quarter pre-tax loss of up to 1.5 billion Swiss francs, and that wealthy clients had made big withdrawals in response to a succession of scandals and growing losses. Credit Suisse launched a turnaround plan last month, but things are not going as planned. Five-year credit default swaps on Credit Suisse are insurance against a Credit Suisse bond default, according to the silver tweets of Wall Street. According to Essen, P Global Market Intelligence Data, the cost of insuring the Swiss bank's debt against default increased to approximately 446 basis points from 409 at market open. This amount compares to 57 basis points at the beginning of the year and is close to the 466 basis point level of the Italian bank that was bailed out. Mani de Pascia di Sina, CDSS for other European lenders such as Commerzbank, Santander, and Swiss rival UBS range from 69 to 81 basis points, revealing what Wall Street believes about Credit Suisse's inherent degree of risk. Several weeks ago, I stated that they appeared to be experiencing their Lehman Brothers moment, the bank that failed as a result of the 2008 financial crisis. However, their CEO stated that the company's liquidity position was robust and that they would not go down without a fight. Other analysts, though, feel this could be the end for Credit Suisse. The Street recently published an article discussing the status of the troubled Swiss lender, in which it bluntly stated, Credit Suisse is beginning to behave like a failing bank. In recent years, Credit Suisse's investment bank has been embroiled in a slew of controversies, sparking rumors of a possible bankruptcy or merger with its rival. Ups, why are two failing banks combining? I have no idea why this seems like a good idea, but here we are. In 2021, the bank lost billions of dollars as a result of two scandals that occurred practically simultaneously. The first was the bankruptcy of the British company Greensill, and the second was the much-discussed Archigos, for which we believe Credit Suisse is now holding the swaps from any GameStop and AMC short positions for which the bank is now accountable. It is evident that although the Fed and Swiss National Bank were operating normally, FTC's failure in early November allowed consumers to lose billions of dollars in assets. However, the big banks were bailed out not just by their own national bank, but also by the Federal Reserve. It was widely believed that the Federal Reserve sent up to $11 billion to Switzerland in an effort to stabilize a faltering economy and avert a catastrophic financial crisis. And if Credit Suisse were to fail, we can be certain that a number of other financial firms would also fail. It appears like we are reliving 2008 to an alarming degree, and the likelihood of a catastrophic occurrence is imminent. And while the implications are absolutely unknown, there's a substantial possibility that Wall Street will be irrevocably altered. So long as Wall Street continues to engage in risky conduct, the ape community will continue to have something to look forward to. And based on what we are currently observing, the time to be excited is approaching. The conclusion of this video. Always ensure that you scroll to the bottom of the page. Tap the thumbs up button for me, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Go obtain some free stock using Mimo. The link is included in the description. Acceptable thank you for supporting and viewing our station. Regards from the moon.